Okay, we're going to hydrate some yeast, and um, I have 26.3 grams of D254 yeast here. And uh, whenever we <clears throat> hydrate yeast for a large quantity wine, particularly, I have a 50 gallon primary here full of 400 pounds of Malbec. I'm going to use D254 yeast, and whenever we hydrate yeast, I use Go Firm. And uh, you'll see in here that uh, we just got some distilled water. I heated it up, and uh, when it got down to 110 degrees, I added the Go Firm in, and I whisked it around. And I'll just make sure that's good and blended. And basically, the amount of Go Firm that we use, we respect a ratio of one part yeast and 1.25 parts of Go Firm. So. I did the math for uh, 26 grams, but I've already added it in to the uh, water <clears throat> and whisked it around. When that temperature has decreased to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, we're going to hydrate our yeast in the Go Firm. And after about 15 to 30 minutes, we're going to start introducing uh, small amounts of the must into this jar and really get it kicking in this jar before we actually added into the vessel. Okay, so it's reached 104 degrees temperature. So what we're going to do is add the yeast in slowly, whisk it into the go firm. So we're going to give that a periodic stir, and uh, I like to cover it up in between just to keep stuff out of it, but also keep some of the heat in as the yeast hydrates in the go firm. Okay, so now I'm going to temper the yeast solution with the actual must. I'm going to add in a little bit every 10-15 minutes and let it come back up to bubbling. Okay, after my yeast hydration jar is bubbling really good and I've added a number of samples of the must into it, I take the jar and I just kind of dump it along the top of the surface of the wine here. And I don't stir it in the first night. Never had a problem yet. Um, whenever I add yeast, whether I'm sprinkling a packet on top of some juice or adding a hydrated concoction into the must, I just uh, drop it in there and let it go for the first night. Normally when I come down the next morning, it's fermenting really good, it's obvious, then I stir it in. And so that's it in terms of hydrating your yeast and adding it to your must. Okay, as you can see, the yeast took and it is vigorously fermenting. And I'm doing the punch downs several times a day. Really going good now. We're in Malbec heaven here. So, we're going to be testing the gravity here soon. Going to be adding some, uh, probably some more Fermade to feed it a little more before it finishes up the primary fermentation.